what I think it is, is it? Oh, pinkies! These things are everywhere. <laughs> Deliberately came here to get away from them. Little pinky. Yeah. Bye bye. He's still got his bum hole in so he can go back. Yep. Good. Pinky. He'll be sized, but I'm sure we can do better. Obviously too guys, if everyone's pulling up fish around you and you haven't had any bites for a while, it's probably worth checking your bait. Or if you do have a couple of bites and then nothing, it's worth checking your bait. Hey, Pinky. Snapper. Yep, he's all right. You're all right, mate. Hey, pink snapper. He'll probably be a touch small, I'd say. Yeah, he's a little bit small, that one. Yeah. But I'm sure he'll do better. Remember to yell out colour, guys, as soon as you see fish coming up. So we can help you. We can Remember that we can't see over the side of the boat. Check him, but I think he's a bit small. Yeah, touch small. I'd say with these pinkies, guys, if you're down there for more than 30 seconds a minute and you're not getting bites, you probably don't have bait left. That's what pink snapper looks like up here. Um, yeah, they're definitely hungry, but most are a bit small. But at least everyone's getting a feel for it. We'll get a few okay ones in the esky, and then we'll we try somewhere else unless something else kicks up but this looks like it's pretty thick with pinkies so I doubt we'll see anything else. Oh yep. Someone else as well, you're right. Uh, Slim Dusty, the other one. So we've got a pink snapper, which is his, and the Slim Dusty. Or a its proper name's false fusilier, but we call it a, a dusky moorwong bullfrog snapper just because they weren't in the book when we started catching them, so we named them ourselves and we stuck with that. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it's slowly invading all our grounds up here. Little pinkies. They, are they 410 here or Yeah, 410. Yep. Yep. There you go, mate. Cheers, More pinkies. Mmm. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, that's a worry. Oh, it's a fish. But it's, yeah. not, it's not what I was expecting. These things are just moving in everywhere. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Alright, stop there for a sec. That one's mine, I know that. <laughs> Guess what, you're right. 
there might be another one down there, so I'll hurry. Hey. Rosies on the second spot. These um, pinks seem to be invading everything up here lately. Um, not terrible, it's still a right fish, but when we want to try and catch something different, it makes it a bit hard sometimes, but we'll take it for now, it's only early. Rosie. And another line. Oh, oh, yep. Cool, cool, cool. Is that a um, gold band? Uh, Rosie. So same family as the gold band, very similar fish, but they typically don't get as big. That's a good, good size one. So gold band's still right up there eating, but in my opinion, these are slightly better. Rosies um, tend to school up sometimes a little bit off the spot or move around the spot a bit so sometimes you'll anchor up and you won't have anything for a while or they'll come past you'll even swing off onto them a bit and they'll fire up so it's always good to give these spots a little bit longer out here just to let them come on let the boat go to them or them come to us. Patch. It's not a huge show, but it's a pretty proven area, so I thought I'd give it a crack before we try something else all together. Um, a couple of people winding already, so hopefully we can get onto a couple. <laughs> Yep, yep, another Rosie, this one. Oh, yeah, like a, yep. yep, same as your gold band, but same family. No, no. Most of the fish we catch up here don't have size on it. Yeah, which is good, it's a bit of common sense because none of them go, will survive going back anyway, so. Tomato cod. Don't get big, but they're good to chew on. Yep. We got few of them, but they're up in the chest. And he'll go red in a second. Some of these, sometimes these things come up white. See? Yep. Yeah, bright colours. Yep. Yeah, there we go. More tomato ish now. Yeah, a little, little one, a little honeycomb, look at it. Little, little honeycomb. Well, if you felt that bite, you're doing all right. You, you feel anything else. All right, a little bit of a flurry there. Um, nothing too special, but, but yeah, might have already stopped. It might be the case today that it's sort of pull up, catch the hungry ones and onto the next spot. So see if we get a couple more, if not, onto the next one. Keep doing that all day. What have we got? Another little rosy? Yeah. Nothing wrong with them. You get a good fillet off these for their size. Yeah. And just all fill it. Yeah, all fill it, tiny head. Just <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
<laughs> he was right on Maybe it, bro. I was faster than the tail, man. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would have been the head, eh? Yeah, shark. He's right on it. Couldn't see the fish, could just see the shark. <laughs> I was watching, what's that? All I can see is a shark. So that's a fish in front of it. Good work, mate. That was dinky. Beautiful, rosy. Yeah, yeah, yep. Pinky, yep, or in there. Pink. Snap up there, pink. Uh, pink snapper. Okay. Yep, I think it's down south. This is like the very northern point of where we catch them. I have to measure him, he's going to be about. They do have a size of these ones. Give it a few more minutes on these guys. Hopefully, get a few more of these ones and then we might make a bit of a move, get on some different ground, to pick something else up. Nothing wrong with these things at all, but I'd like to see a few goldies and stuff like that. What do we got? Oh, that's a nice rosy. Step back a touch. It's a nice rosy. Surprise, surprise, it's rosy. Beautiful thing. I think that time it was just it's the swim bladder popping the oh, bubbles it's made it look bladder. like it, yeah. There are a couple around. Pinky. Oh, you're right. Give it a couple more minutes here, guys. See if they keep coming. If not, we'll said we'll make a bit of a move, try and get something a bit different. At least we've got a few in the esky now, so we can um start trying to do a bit better. Not that there's anything wrong with these ones, that's for sure. All right, well they kept firing a little bit, so we've got about 30 fish in the box now, so that's a bit more respectable, or half decent too, nothing too small. Um, at least that gives us the bit of flexibility to go look for some better fish, so we'll do that now. All right, next spot. Um, oldie this one, I haven't fished it for a few years but so uh, see how it goes, um, had a few reds on it back on the day so see how it goes after it had a break, or break from me anyway for a little while, a couple people whining already. Not what I think it is, is it? Oh pinkies, these things are everywhere. <laughs> Deliberately came here to get away from them. Nothing wrong with them but try a bit of variety. Oh, Rosie, I'm gonna have to drive further away. I said nothing wrong with these, but I'm gonna try and get a bit of variety. <laughs> yeah, just more rosies and pinks. Nothing wrong with them at all, but I might try and get a bit of variety. So, pull off here what's hungry and then keep looking. Might have to try a bit deeper or something, mix it up. Here we go. Hey, another rosy. Didn't catch one of them the other day. That's crazy. <laughs> I said I deliberately came to this spot to get something different, and they're, they're here. Yep, alright man, another Robbo. 
These are very, very nice. Beautiful thing. Barely fit dog in his mouth. Lovely. Would you believe it? A rosy. What is that? A rosy. Rosy, rosy jobfish. Rosy snapper. So, same family as the gold band. And the sharpies, they're probably my favourite fish to eat, I'd say. No, you're right. You're right, get him in, mate. Good work. Finally. Sorry. Sorry, I'll be back there in one sec. Sorry guys. No, you're right. Thanks. This one should be too hard, so I'll be out of it in a sec. Just watch your fingers. Yep, keep your fingers clear. Yep. Yeah. One sec mate, I'll just get this going. Sorry guys. It's probably enough, I reckon. Fish kept firing there for a little while too. We've only got about 10 more fish we need to catch, so I won't stick around here for too much longer, even if they do keep biting. So I prefer to try and find them something else because we've got plenty of pinkies and roses in there at the moment. So nothing wrong with them at all but when there's goldies and reds to be caught and we've got plenty of time still we'll give that a crack. Turns out we only got four more fish left to catch and it's only about lunchtime so I um, thought I'd go look for some new stuff a bit deeper, try and get some different fish. I'm um, not sure how well we've hit the spot but we've got one of the electrics winding already so at yeah, 1.30s now. So here we go. Yep, he's there. <laughs> That's what we were, oh, nearly. Red and a goldie double header, then. You haven't, have you? You've caught a buddy pinky. Whoops. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. 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 That's yeah, we've got a few of these. Not throwing that back, but too good. Can't throw this back, but too good. Now, here she comes. Hopefully a nice goldie or a rosy. Another rosy, but a decent one. Okay, one. Well. Get away from him. bagged out for you guys already so I think we got enough of these yeah. <laughs> these ones I don't throw back because they don't survive and I'll I'll take these ones home for you on my bag limit <laughs> sharpie, sharpie yeah. yep not a rosy Beautiful. Guess I'm happy about that. Yeah, I am. <laughs> you 
All right. So, um, yeah, that spot fired all right. A couple of good goldies and a couple of reds off that too, which is what we're after. Um, and, of course, a few more rosies, but well and truly bagged out. Even got our man Brock's bag them in today, so head home. We'll um, see you at the tables. Today's catch, that's for sure, but I think I picked the wrong day to film this week. Um, last couple of days we've had bloody good goldies, we've had whales, and dolphins and sharks and all sorts of stuff going on along around the boat. So today was almost boring for me anyway, so but um still good fish, nothing wrong with rosies and pinkies, so just not quite the peak of the week unfortunately. So but at least we finished with a nice and easy one. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, not my music today, everyone. Just so we're aware of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, both of those statements are correct. <laughs> yeah. That's all right, man. I'm just going to put. No, no, no. No. Put some wings there. That's right. Put them on. You put them in a bag and we'll just work from there. That's what you want. Have a listen to me. Yep. Sorry? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it would have been a bit small than this one, Pete. <laughs> Pinky, yep. Still twice the size of the one you caught, by the sounds. Of it. Yeah, Brock doesn't like call this a wok snapper. A wok snapper. <laughs> or paella. Yeah, it's a Japanese uh, panty, it's a wok snapper. <laughs> Oh, they swim down, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> Tell you what, I, I, I know it wasn't you, you probably did, but the, the decky I had when you were here last year dropped a 10 to 12 kilo red off the side of the boat. I watched him do it from the other end. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Don't worry if I'm dropping a 10 kilo red, I'm doing that too. Oh yeah. I've, I've done it for bloody pink snapper, so I'm gonna. 